Hello, my name is Anton Krusen. I'm a singer-songwriter, uh, basically Afrikaans, because that is my home language, but I have written in English as well. Uh, on the topic of songwriting, there are absolutely no rules. The only rule is probably that it has to be a song at the end of the day. And the song doesn't necessarily have lyrics. A song can stand on its own feet without lyrics. Uh, lyrics on its own feet is not a song. It is, it is a lyric and at its best it is poetry. So, how to do right songs. Songs is an extension of the emotion within. It is, it is the painting inside you, the painting of emotions that has to be transferred to a form that other people can enjoy it, which is more or less always hearing, unless you are reading uh, written music. And it is transformed through the hands and the mouth, or in the case of a drummer, through the feet and the hands. Uh, yes, drummers are, can also be composers. Uh, one does not have to use a musical instrument. Uh, Barry Mason, who was a songwriter that worked with Les Reed and had hits with Ingelbert Humperdinck and Rod Stewart and Delilah for Don Jones, once told me, ooh, how's that for name dropping, that when he heard songs in his head, well, lyrics in his case, he was the lyric writer, he wrote it down on a piece of paper and collected these pieces of paper and then he and Les Reed would sit down and then work together. The same with uh, Albert Hammond, who also at one stage had a writing partner. Uh, on, they were on both sides of the ocean, well, on opposite sides of the ocean and then used to phone each other late at night. Um, but one does not need, if one is a musician, one does not always need the, the writing partner. I have done a couple of those things, and mostly um, poems that I set to music, only three of them, I think. And once or twice I sat down with, with another songwriter and we composed together. But most of the time I work alone. As I said earlier, there are no rules. Uh, now, how to write a song? Um, Songs is observation, and in my case, and I'm only speaking on behalf of myself, um, there are no rules. I'll say that once more, so pay attention. <laughs> I, I work holistically. I observe when I'm traveling. When I'm not traveling, I'm thinking. Uh, movies has inspired, have inspired me, uh, books that I've read, things that I've heard, conversations that I've heard from people, conversations that I've had with people, and newspaper reports, anything can trigger off, off a song. Uh, working holistically does not necessarily mean that I start with the title, but usually the title and what the song is about is, um, is the same thing. Uh, once one or I have that, that concept, I take it from there. Uh, very often, that title or that holistic idea is part of what would later become the chorus of the song. So I work a bit on that. Um, usually I finish that and then go over to the verses and, and the bridge, but it could be the other way around as well. Um, one of these songs, Pampuna Opidak, which means pumpkins on the roof, um, I wrote in the 90s and 92, but I did, couldn't find a chorus for it. Uh, it was like verses, and I had the, the intermediate bridge section. And then 15 years later, I sat at a place on the 511, on the, which is the road from Santon to the Hartebis Dam. And I was having morning coffee and breakfast, and I looked up, and there were pumpkins on the roof. And at that very moment, I knew I had the chorus, the, the, the missing part. Very often, these songs 
get stuck and then it is the best to put them in a drawer and just let them rest. Just, just, just wait. It will come. And if it doesn't come, it doesn't matter. One can always use sections of what was done in, in other songs. Right. Dancing is love away. 